For me, the most fun part about this job is being able to use science in a brewery. Here at Avery, I'm part of a quality control department. Our job in the, in the department is to make sure that we maintain the highest standards for our beer. It's the best job I ever had. I met Dan Driscoll by way of a couple of vendor friends that I have. We met over at the Avery Brewing Company here in Boulder. The main problem that they were running into was cross-contamination of one type of brewing yeast with another. What this does is produces different off flavors. When that happens, we don't really have any recourse other than to dump the batch of beer and start over. That's a large problem because it's several thousands of dollars every time we do that. So what Dan is looking for is a diagnostic test to say, is this really the yeast that we think it is? Um, so that if it is, you let the fermenter go and everybody's happy and Avery gets to make more beer. And if it isn't, then you don't waste the time brewing up something that you then have to throw away. What we can do is we can use the power of next generation sequencing technology to actually sequence the different yeasts that they use in all of their beers through their process. We analyze the whole genome and, uh, for each of the strains. Once we have an idea what the differences are, then we can develop chemical, biochemical, and additional sequencing tests. We definitely were not capable of designing such a test in-house. From the standpoint of collaboration with industry, this has been a perfect marriage. CU gets the, the information that is generated and can publish papers and um, learn about the, the yeast themselves. Uh, and we get the benefit of making better beer, making it more consistently. Anytime you can marry science and beer is a fantastic day in my book.